Hello, welcome to Tech Channel. In this session, we will learn about a way through which we can access or read the data from data area. So, in our uh, previous session, we have learned about how to create the data area. Mainly, in this session, we will read the data area from that data from the data area. So, first of all, I will show you the data that I have stored inside my data area. So, for that, you have to hit the command DSP dta ARA. then take f4 which is display data area and here you can pass your data area name so my data area name is test dta ARA, which is in library share point so once i hit enter it will show me the data area so this is my data i have stored in my data area share and one two three four five so you can consider this as a user id and this as uh, this one three five four five is as a password so now what we will do, we will try to access this data using name and uh, user, uh, user ID and user password in RPG program. So let's see how to use. If you are not aware how to create the data area, then you can refer that session. But uh, mainly in the session, we will learn about a way to read the data area, to read the data area in RPG program. So now we will go through the program. So as usual, we are writing the code in fully free format and here uh, from line number eight we have start, uh, started with the uh, uh, with the declaration of control options so here i'm doing the uh, setting the control option for no debug io and src stmt below to that i have declared one data structure that we will use to access or retrieve the data from data area into data structure so this is the format like you have to write dc and ds then your data area name so my data sorry data structure name which is d area and here you have to pass this keyword data area dta ARA. inside this we will pass the exact path or location where the pro program resides so my library name is shenmet1 and my data area name is test dta ARA. so i have to pass this as a shenmet1 slash test dta ARA. And then you can close this by the quote and just uh, close the parenthesis. And here you have to specify the length, like uh, it is of 100 length, which is of qualified type. So this data structure is qualified. So whenever you want to access these two fields, you have to uh, use it as dAria.username. And to print the password, you have to use dAria.password. So in this way, you can design one data structure to receive the value which we are storing inside the data area. <clears throat> Just make sure that these values should be passed as it is in caps lock. Otherwise, it will give some error. Okay. We will see that also like what will happen if we change it. So once your data area is designed, sorry, data structure is designed, you have to use this keyword which is in. In is a op code. So after in you can pass your data structure name which is the area. Now we got the data in this data structure fields and we are just simply displaying it using display command. So dsply d area dot username d area norm dot password and then star in zero uh, star in lr equals to star on. Let's compile and see whether we are able to retrieve the data. So I'm calling it. Yes, it returns the shamrat as a username and one two three four five as a password, which is correct. Now we will try to do some changes. So let's say if I make this as a small, so I'm going to convert this into store small case test dta ARA. But name is same. But we just change the case. So let's compile and try to call it. So it shows data area shermit one slash this was not found. Okay. So and if I again change this to capital letters, then it will work perfectly. So if I compile it now. Call it so it is working. So just make sure that you are passing the same name. And what will happen if I change my length of this data structure? Let's say I make it 200, but the length of data area is 100 only. So let's see by compiling it again. So I'm compiling. So it shows 
data area type or len does not match program data area which is correct because we are using 100 length data area in data structure of length 200 so that's why it is not working so you have to keep this same as we are having inside the data area okay so at the time of creation of data area we can use this command crt dta ara and then we can pass the length so that same length we have to pass here also now i will tell you another thing like if you want to uh, use the data structure name same as a data area name in that case you don't need to use this uh, you don't need to pass this as a location why because you can directly use this uh, name as a data structure name so if i pass this as like test eta ara here in, instead of d area then i can directly use this only this uh, dta ara keyword then it will refer to the main program so let me show you what i was trying to say so just remove it from here so i'm copying it and then paste it here then then just write dpa ara which is my keyword now wherever we are using this d area we have to replace it with the exact name because now we don't have d area similarly here also and here also okay so now it should work properly as it was worked previously it is compiled and it is returning the correct output okay so but this time we are not passing the exact location where it resides we are not passing the library and uh, data area name because we are using the same name for data structure as well so if you if you are using the same data structure name then you don't need to pass it the location otherwise you have to pass that using the dta array you can pass inside the parenthesis like from which source we have to refer it and then you can change your data structure name so yeah that's all for this session mainly in this session we learn about how about how to read the data from data area inside the rpg program what is the use of in of code okay so yeah that's all uh, in the upcoming session we will learn how to write the data back to the data area if you want to write data from the uh, rpg program into data area then we can use one more output so that we will see in the upcoming session so yeah that's all for this session so thank you for watching take care